This is Toulouse, my city. This year, I have decided to bring you along to discover 12 landmarks of my city through 12 watercolor paintings throughout the year. Come and follow this journey through the streets of this southwestern French city. For my first video, I present you the first landmark, the saint sernin Basilic. Hello, my name is Iris. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I have recently come back to live in the city I was born after 15 years living in different places and countries. As I am rediscovering my city, I thought it would be nice to share it with you all. And as I am an artist, there is no better way than showing you my own vision and interpretation of this place through watercolor paintings. I decided to start with La Basilique saint sernin because I live really close from it and it has always been part of my day-to-day -day for so many years. I would hear the bells ringing every hour of every day. My high school was right in front of it and it is even named saint sernin High School. I even walk my dog almost every day around it. How did I decide to go about painting this? Well. First, I had to find an angle that would be representative of it, and that was not of a dawn. I chose to paint it from the perspective of one of its adjacent streets, just like if I was a tourist. As you walk, all you can see is the massive church that appears at the end of the street. I decided to include the buildings of the street because this church is really nested in the center of Toulouse. Surrounded by many lively streets, it is not isolated and is an integrant part of Toulouse's inhabitants' lives. What is so special about this basilica, would you ask? Well, first of all, I think it is beautiful, don't you agree? I love that one can feel the weight of the years when walking past it. saint sernin is the largest Romanesque church in France and is listed as a UNESCO heritage site. It has welcomed for centuries pilgrims on their way to Santiago de Compostela. This impressive brick and stone basilica is one of the symbols of Toulouse, majestic luminous, it was built between the 11th and 14th centuries in honor of Saint Saturnin, or Cernin, first bishop of the city. The story of Saint Saturnin was not a happy one. It was actually really grim as any Christian martyr story. A short version of the story is that in the middle of the 3rd century, Saturninus was the head of the first Christian community in ancient Tolosa. On November 29th of the year 250, he was attacked by pagans at the foot of the Capitolium. Having refused to honor the pagan gods, he was tied to a bull and dragged along the streets to the current location of the Notre Dame du Tort church. It is said that two young girls buried the martyr on the present site. Like the majority of churches built in the Middle Ages, the basilica is oriented from east to west. The exterior is massive and dominated by the octagonal bell tower reaching 65 meters high. It is organized around a fairly imposing transept, 65 meters long as well. The saint sernin Basilica remains the most visited monument in the city, recognized for its exceptional heritage value. Inside, five large vaulted naves converge towards the choir and the gilded wood and marble canopy. It is renowned for its 128 relics, including those of six apostles, which make it the church in France with the largest number of relics and the second church in the world with the most relics, 
right after the Vatican. More than 200 pieces of bone, holy objects and fragments of the Holy Crown have been received or acquired by the parish over the centuries. They are scattered throughout the chapels and the crypt and they testify to the prestigious past of this pilgrimage church. Okay, enough about the history of this place. Let's get back to the painting. I wanted to exaggerate the colors of my painting and have the focus on the church itself. That is why I decided to use contrast as much as possible. Contrast between cool and warm colors, but also between dark and light colors. I don't usually do line art when painting watercolors, but for this specific painting, I decided to outline the whole scene with color microns varying the colors depending on the light source and contrast wanted. I used warm tones to provide a warm mood of a sunny afternoon, even though I added clouds to provide more interest to the sky. The dark blue for the foreground helps guide the eye towards the church. The painting process was actually surprisingly easy and straightforward, as I had planned the whole thing thoroughly on Procreate beforehand, and my drawing was quite detailed. Drawing this was the most complicated, long and boring part to be honest. I enjoy drawing characters more than buildings, but I have decided I wanted to challenge myself this year and open my horizons. I am quite happy with the final results, as I think I was able to transmit the feeling I have when I pass by this basilica. It is like an old friend watching over Toulouse's inhabitants with a warm and amused eye. It is massive, sturdy, and adds charm to this city. I hope you have enjoyed this little overview of the first landmark of Toulouse and my painting. Next month, I will bring you along to discover Toulouse's main square located at the very heart of the city, Le Capitole. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed spending some time with me and if you did, let me know by liking this video. And if you want to see more of my creations, subscribe!
Have a nice day, night, whatever the time you're watching this. If you're watching it until the end. Thank you for watching.